continuando aqui com Life is Strange. Vamos ver onde é que vai parar isso aqui. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Qual que seria a senha disso aqui? Dois, quatro, cinco. Vamos ver. Sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Seu filho, já que você desconsiderou minhas sugestões sérias e imediatas para o bem-estar de, de outras pessoas, você sabe muito bem a extensão dos desafios do Neto, mas sinto que se recusa a admitir sua função em sua saúde mental, caso eu não tenha seu apoio. Não poderia tratar o Neto sempre assim, temo que ele esteja se tornando cada vez mais desconectado da realidade, mesmo agindo de uma maneira apessoada. Meus pedidos para uma consulta com você e sua esposa foram ignorados, então presumo que não esteja mais interessado nos meus serviços. Independentemente disso, eu me importo com o Neto e acredito que ele precise de ajuda séria. Caso queira conversar sobre o assunto, sempre estarei disponível. Decisamente, Dr. Jacob. Talk tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Nothing about Rachel here. Imagine chilling in this room. Oh, yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Hmm. 
Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all these vile. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out. And she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Tam mı atsa buraya? Ne madem alada ki? Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. So who's using this fancy tripod? Look, 
This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh! That smell! Rachel! Oh. No, Rachel, no, no! Please, not her! Sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture, uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Okay, Chloe, we 
Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of fast. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what they're here for. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Another two shall be. anymore. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. Never leave. 
leaving this toilet. This is my last Vortex Club party. Oh no, not again. Hello, can you please hurl and- Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. You've been vomiting or for like both. an hour. Ugh, Max. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. The tide is turning. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Esse é o poder de voltar no tempo. Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Monkeys dance for the Prescotts. Hey, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. 
I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Lena. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves to give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother-sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm, like, far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Just vape some dank OG butts. Oh, I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope that the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you could sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. 
I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their work. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? I have real friends. I wouldn't want to fake them. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. <laughs> Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. 
We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious friends, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little in you. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened to Kate. Can't you see him serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally comes up. Adios. Revoir. Okay, I tried. She's not going to believe me over her Vortex Club partner. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen me tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it! Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson! Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. 
Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? Episódio cinco ainda.
deixar para o próximo capítulo. Até mais, aí, pessoal.